try down here. See if we can find a fish. I'll slip and break the neck first. Remember kids, don't forget to stop when you hit the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it looks alright. Apart from the slippy, rolly, gravelly stuff. Yep, this will do. Loads going on. Nice. How's it going fish heads? I am on the southernmost cape of the mainland of Greece. I'll put the, the name in the description because I'm just going to mess it up if I try and say it. Today I'm going to use this light setup. It's 10 to 30 grams this rod. 4,000 size reel, 15 pound 8 strand mainline, 11 pound Euro mono blend leader and a 22 gram lure. Yes, with single inline hooks on it. I got like between six and 15 meters of water out in front of me and we're gonna see what lives there in Greece yeah I feel optimistic about my chances here in Greekland you up my head you go you know you like it shut up right first cast is a blast it's a long time since I said that is the first cast fish let's find out oh we're in hey we got a fishy the first cast fish Let's see what it is. <laughs> oh, it's a lizard fish, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, straight through the top of the head as well. <laughs> no, that's my first one. A lizard fish. I've never had one of these before. So, uh, yeah. Uh, does he have spikes? Probably. So, uh, it's probably some type of weaver fish if I'm not lucky. So, I'm going to get this guy unhooked and back in the sea. Don't flop around too much, mate. I'm going to get a cloth. Okay. Just as well for Mr. Lizard Fish that I was using singles or he'd be a rare old mess there he is there I mean nice looking fish I bet dollars to donuts he's related to weaver fish so not touching with me hands anyway goodbye there he goes <laughs> nice right first Greek fish lizard fish there it goes so that's another new species for me soon I'll be at 60 from the shore it's only taken me Almost 50 years. <laughs> we'll try it along there. Oh! We're in. Oh, it's off. That was a decent fish. Wonder what it was. Well, I always wonder. Let's find out. Oh, this big lizard fish after my lure. <laughs> that is fish here anyway. That was a big one. moving so that's it for now so the next time i turn the camera on you're gonna be somewhere new and hopefully there'll be some decent fish yeah okay bye so, all right we've arrived at the, the next place we're gonna fish no man <laughs> right he's waiting for me i believe he's gonna take every bloody jig i own and he's gonna jam him so far up some rock <laughs> i'll never find him ever again you know what i mean will poseidon provide i don't think so we're at the very southern cape farthest south you can go in greece the water i'm going to fish is 50 meters or so deep <laughs> wish me luck oh we're about halfway i was back there at that car park down there so that's what we got ahead of us but it's all downhill after that point you know what I mean? This is it, the most southern cave of Greece. I've never been here before. Don't know if I can fish. Right, but if you don't go, you don't find out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this is the objective for today. So I've arrived. Here we are. And this is what awaits me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going down there. 
one way or the other. This is one of those times when up is much easier than down. And we're going to climb down there. Hopefully without anything falling down on top of me and killing me. Or crushing me. Or maiming me. Or doing anything to me. So I have to find a way in. And this horrible looking gear here looks like the way to me. Where people have been dumping stuff. And make it all slippy, slidey. Fall off the side of a cliffy. This is where fishing becomes an extreme sport. As long as there's not a huge crevasse or something, which there often is, and then I have to backtrack and find another way. But uh, till that point, it's onwards we go. Just find a way through the mess that the Greek gods are put in front of me to test me, see if I'm good enough to get one of their Greek fishes. Megalopsardi. Oh, look at that. As if they made it for me. Fantastic. I'm going to fish this side of the cave because it's blowing like crazy over the other side and I don't want to deal with it. Then I have to find a perch, which is often the hardest thing, but at least this isn't like the limestone. Much nicer. Oh, look! Made for me! Yes! I hope I'm getting this on recording. Because I don't want to have to climb up and do it again. <laughs> right, this is it. But I'm not there yet, as they say. That way. These seams here that the Greek gods have made for me. Thank you very much, Olympus. And whatever your wife's called, good job. Here we go. This Low water by the looks of things. Also good. We are bloody well in. Now, let's get fishing. All right, we were up there. Wave to the camera. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now we're down here and we're going to tie on a jig. That's it there. Ready to go. 90 gram jig, 50 meters of water. Right, that went out 100 meters straight off. Anyway, so we're going to start to, oh, look, we start to retrieve anyway. I've got, and I think I need a heavier jig to be honest with you. So I'm going to change to 110 grams. It might not be hitting the bottom at all. It might just be floating in the corners. And that's no good. Yeah, I'm going to change the jig. I'm going to put on one that's 20 grams heavier, see if that helps. Okay, 110 gram coming up. Yep, we definitely need to change it. Okay, we're gonna change this. 110 grams. Right the fish. There we go. Down. The corn's really strong. Woo! <laughs> There's loads of little fish following it for some reason. That was weird. Never seen that before. So uh, we get it back out again. Oh no. That's a rock. Jig gone. Right, retie. So, retied, new jig, new assists. The wind has dropped a little bit. Let's hope the tide has as well. Half a dozen casts and into a snag already. Yeah, it's just why I didn't pay good money for it. <laughs> it's on its way down to meet Poseidon. Poseidon is sitting in his throne with his trident beside him, laughing his Greek ass off. Yes, he is. I don't know what happened there, but into a snag anyway. I don't know exactly how that happened, but Oh, I know how it happened. Uh, the current thing. Ah, man. I think there's another jig. <coughs> Boo! Okay. So that's an almond there. That's two jigs. Yeah, the current's extreme. So if I don't stop, I'm not going to have any tackle left. So that brings the session to an end, unfortunately. I would like to stay until the... Um, the tide flattens, but by that stage it's going to be dark. 
and uh, it's not going to be much fun climbing up this in the dark, you know what I mean? <laughs> the corn's become too strong, I can no longer fish here. This is what I get up to, this is why you don't see a lot of what I do. When I was in Italy I had permit problems for a place called the Palomirio and I couldn't fish there either, so uh, I decided to come to Greece. <laughs> I'm Billy, this is Billy fishing, wherever you are in the world. Remember, I'll see you on the beach, bye.